S4, good afternoon and welcome to Love Headline News. Coming up, academic activity comes to a halt at Jama Pensai and also teachers at a Duman extend strike. My name is Kwesi Debra. Thank you for joining us. Academic work have been interrupted at Jama Pensai Senior High and Technical School after Sunday's night student rioting. Police have been deployed to maintain peace in the school following destruction of property. They vandalized electric bulbs and furniture at the dining hall, then the school's polytank water reservoirs before, before storming the housemaster and headmaster's bungalows. District Chief Executive Jose Sibi Bonsu rushed to the school upon hearing the news, is worried about what he says is becoming rampant student violence in the area. He, however, rules out closure of the school as a result of the latest incident. Uh, this is too bad. It's too bad. We are not expecting such thing from um, the future leaders of the, of the country. That's why we want to sit down and find a lasting to, solution to, the, to, to the, the incident that is going on. It may spread to other schools. Ashant Regional Student Representative Council says those students have received orientation on grievance communication. There's still work to be done. Rafael Sarkodi is coordinator. I, I recall, I mean, there are about three schools hosted, uh, uh, as it were, the orientation hosted by Jama Pensan. So uh, for me, I mean, you look at the kind of response we had from there, you would expect that if they have any challenges, because what we told them that when you have a challenge, there is, there's a zonal level. Meanwhile, only two out of about 10 students who suffered minor injuries and admitted at the Abuaso Government Hospital remain at the facility. Akriyajiman is principal physician assistant. And a Kriyajiman is principal physician assistant at a Boaso government hospital. Teachers of a Duman senior high school in the Ashanti region have extended their sit-down strike to five days to demand the removal of the headmaster, Francis Yao Agozo. Their action was disrupted. Teaching and learning in the school has become necessary because teachers claim there's a leadership vacuum. Teachers are worried that head teachers' demeanor and disrespect to the teachers is stifling teacher initiative and commitment to work. According to them, he could not need he could need some counseling when removed from the post. The teachers, led by Kwesi Ousu, accuse the head teachers of of victimizing the teachers who often are not on his side. He explains they will continue to he continue the sit down strike till Friday until the head teacher is removed. They have resorted to measure because several petitions to both district and regional education directorate have not yielded any positive results. Just take us through. <laughs> about about the headmaster and his you know conduct okay about a headmaster's conduct all i can say is that there is sometimes his utterances and his demeanor is uncomfortable when asked why students are being used as bait to address their concerns, the spokesperson, Kwesi Usu, says there's only one way to address the issue. Matron of the school, Nana Santua, recounts some instances where the head teacher in South and assaults some of his staff of the kitchen, accusing them of stealing. She recommends counseling for the head teacher. And really, it did happen. So he has no respect for teachers and stakeholders. That is one. The second one is show of extreme anger. The headmaster is always angry. And in one of our meetings, he told us that at the time he was not at home, his children and wife were very happy. Meanwhile, the head teacher, Francis Agoza, won't comment on the issue but says the matter is with the GES. All government health facilities without health facilities regulatory agency council certification will no longer be accredited by the National Health Insurance Authority by June this year. Acting Registrar Matthew Yachirme says stakeholder consultation is in progress on enforcing the law. He was speaking at the Allied Health Professional Sensitization Workshop in Kumasi. Over the years, the government has been responsible, Minister of Health has been responsible under Ghana Health Service to make sure that certain things are in place. And in fact, in terms of resources and equipment, I think, I think the government facilities are okay, all right? But we need to ensure that that is the case. And we need to take them through the process of registration according to the Act. Acting Register of Allied Health Professionals, Dr. Samuel Poku, advocates legislative instrument to enforce council regulations. Absence of the LI that will operationalize the Act 
you know, the act just gives the framework of the distance, but how to operationalize the, the act, you know, um, will be taken from the LI. And you heard the Act Register of Allied Health Professionals, Dr. Samuel Opoku. Women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics say unbalanced female population in higher education is a national drawback. Organizing committee at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology is particularly worried about low female postgraduate enrollment. Member and associate professor at the Department of Mathematics, Professor Atinuke Adibanji, spoke at a get-together in Kumase. Uh, given an advantage to females, so you might have, um, maybe, maybe, you have an aggregate uh, eight, and the girl has an aggregate 10, and she's vying for the same program, she might come in. The ceremony brought together women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics within the KNUST community. It provided a platform to exchange ideas and charted a path for collective involvement as key stakeholders in national development. Wisdom focuses on achieving active involvement of female scientists in leadership within the Ghanaian contest. Professor Mrs. Ibok in South Drew is Provost College of Science, KNUST. We think that a time has come when we should see women as part of um, developmental, to see as part in the development of our nation. Sometimes we are a bit tilted and everybody is saying science and technology drives a nation. Professor Mrs. Ibok in Saudro, Sprovost College of Science, KNUST. And that's how we end the live headline news at four. My name is Kwasi Deborah. Just before you go, as usual, a quick one on our conversation for today. I've been with this man for almost two years, and uh, he's not very attractive, but everything else is great. The first day I introduced him to my sister, he couldn't take his eyes off her, of course. I asked, about, um, I asked him about it, and for months, he denied it fully and called me crazy and insecure. I invited him to a family party during Christmas and told him not to stare at my sister. He then admitted he does it, and it's because he had mass and liked the way she's shaped, but loves me and only me and still wants us to get married. Mm. Your honest feedback. I mean, this is honesty. I mean, what would you expect from a man to tell you this is what I think about your sister? But in, in so far as, uh, no matter how I admire her shape, I still love you. What do you want to hear again? I mean, this is an honest answer. And every woman should take this like that, without any pinch of salt. I mean, it's, it's okay. He's been truthful. He likes a, he likes a, I mean, the, the ship, but loves you. I mean, it's honest. <laughs> Interesting. Kofi, yeah. What do you make of this? Um, I, I, I remember once a time Uncle Bo just giving a general advice that if you're just preparing to go into any marriage and then there are some signs that can just warn you before you tie the knot. You better just pay attention to it before, you know, you later come back to blame whatever. This is somebody you, you want to settle with. Mm -hmm. And then already he is even eyeing your sister. Yes, it's good to appreciate the handiworks of God. But then this man is just trying to tell you straight away before you tie the knot that he could be greedy. I'm not saying he is. He could be. Oh, but they and, like and, and, allow, and, allow, Deborah. And, and for these signs to show up or to just, at least somebody will say manifest, it's, it's a blessing in disguise for you to think again and then know where you tread into. Because if not, and then you tie the knot, and then later he ends up sleeping with your house helps and stuff like that. The man showed it. I mean, you were Isn't just. Isn't it a mere admi um, admiration? Yo, <laughs> Ube to me, I appreciate it. But then the point where. This man is telling you that, yes, I even like her shape and blah, blah, blah. He should tell you what he can do to you when, when you, you, you start probably going down after some years into marriage. You see, he will go out there. You see, actions like these discourages truth and honesty. You understand? Mm. A man should be truthful. And you have a man who is very truthful to you. Mm -hmm. That this is what I like. I like ships. Mm -hmm. but, be, but I like I like you all the same. And your sister is the one that only be. It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. Is, it, is it the kind of Akunta you're going to have? No, it doesn't you matter. You can turn in the No, you see the kind of Akunta you're going easy, to easy, have. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, easy. Uh, see, <laughs> baby Lala is talking about men being greedy here. No, 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 see, no, no. If you take men, eh, uh -huh. and it come, when it comes to issues of women, uh -huh. men are 100% greedy. Okay. When it comes to issues I know some young guys who, who they've decided to sample and they'll keep on sampling. I, don't, I wonder whose daughter or whose sister they will be sampling. It's good to sample, though. Let's get talking right <laughs> away on Facebook, Valove 99.5 FM. On Twitter, it's at LoveFM 99.5 or DJ Ruben 995. Let's get interactive right here as we hit the road with some good more music here on Drive Time on Love. You're rocking with the best. Drive Time on Love 99.